Hey guys, it's currently 8.07 on move out day. I have been up since 7. I was going to pick my camera up, but then I kind of just got into like the habit of doing things. But yeah, I'm going to show you a little bit of everything. So this is my go bag. These are all my snacks. I have packy gluten-free nacho chips with some protein in them. I've got a protein bar. I've got a good drink green tea with lemon and honey. And then I've got a nice cold bottle of water. This is, has my laptop in it and I think my wallet. That's pretty much it. My headphones, my sunglasses, my camera bag. All my stuff is out of here. The humor is half full of like my stuff yesterday. Um, so yeah, my desktop is no longer here. It had been there. We were trying some things out. My cupboard is like pretty much empty. None of my stuff is no longer in the fridge. All this stuff here is mine. And as we go downstairs, there's people out the in. I'm leaving my stereo because I have my big computer now. This is all empty. This is all stacked full of stuff. My birds are staying. I can't bring them. My bed is cleaned off. This stuff is all staying. My room looks like very empty right now. My closet looks like you'd be like, okay, well, what did you bring? Trust me, I brought a lot of clothes. But a lot of it I can't bring. It's really sad because there's lots of things that I would love to wear here, but I mean, I don't need like 40 outfits. So yeah, that's pretty much empty. And my bed, my pillows, and yeah. Also, both of these vehicles here are full of vans. This one and that one are both packed full of stuff. I'm going to bring a lot of stuff, but if you think about it, you're moving out to college, and I feel like every year I find new things that can be helpful, and things that aren't as helpful, so I get rid of a little bit of things, and I add a lot more, so it's going to be interesting moving in, but I'm going to bring you guys along with me, and I've recorded some stuff over the past couple of days, and I'm also going to be uploading it sometime this week. It's just not a lot for orientation week, and I'm not a freshman, so I don't have to participate in a lot of the events, so I probably will. Um, but yeah, it's about 10 after 8 now, we were supposed to leave 10 minutes ago. My mom's just waiting for her clothes to be dried, and we'll be out of here by 8.30. 8.30, 9.30, and 10.30, so we'll be there around 11. Which is perfect timing, because then it closes at 12. So, we will see you guys in a bit. Peace! So this is what the van me and my mom will be driving looks like. Got chair, foods that I already pre-bought, bags and stuff, clothes, shoes, guitar. All my stuff, my snacks. And this is what my dad and brother and sister are gonna be driving. And it is it's hard to see through here, but it's like tactful. You really can't see. Oh, there, there's your chair. There's your chair. My lap, desktop. And boxes and boxes. But yeah, we're just finishing up the van. They're like as packed as they're going to be. And we're just waiting for everyone else to finish getting ready. But yeah, guys. So move out to Perth this is my third time officially moving out for college. I went to a Mango Bible College and I went to Cambridge last year. I'm going again this year. But we are going to get packed up and we'll see you guys in a bit. Peace out. Ha. Hey guys, so it's about 10 to 9 and we are in the car now. We stopped at Tim's and we've got in some breakfast, some taffy, and my mom got a wrap and I got some hash browns. But yeah, the van is packed full and the other van is way, way, way far behind us. But we will be there at about 11 o'clock-ish and that will give us an hour to get my key and stuff and then we can move in as 12 o'clock is lunch, but we don't really like the lunch. But yeah, we will be there in about two hours and we will check in with you guys in a bit. 10.51 is our arrival time. Anything to say? No, but that's, I was wondering how you were guessing when we'd get there, but I forgot about the GPS. <laughs> <laughs> We will check back with you guys in a bit. Peace. So it's about ten. So it's about ten o'clock now, and we are about an hour in, and there's only an hour left to drive. There's like this McDonald's that we like found, like to see from here, we like a McDonald's, and we stop here like every way because it's every time because it's like the halfway point. So we're gonna stop, stretch our legs, go pee, and then we have one hour left. We will see y'all in a bit. Peace. So it is about ten forty-three now, and we will be there in about twenty minutes. We are in civilization again. But yeah, we will be there in about like 20 minutes and then have to go get my key and then go check out the apartment before I start bringing stuff in so that I see like if we actually have space whether or not my roommate has started to move in or not. But yeah, about 20 minutes and we are now eating the packy chips. What's mom's opinion on the packy chips? They are yummy. They are yummy. 
They're made with almost all natural ingredients, just like a couple of like different kinds of acids and stuff like that. But other than that, there's like paprika and like it's, they're really good. But yeah, this is all looking very, very familiar now. Like way up here in the distance, you can see. I don't know if you can see it on camera actually. Oh, that's way too close. Oh, there's a tree. So what's the tree name? You can see like kind of like the pointy things way up there. Yeah, downtown Guelph. Yeah, downtown Guelph, which is like what 15 minutes away, I think, from. School, so oh, from school, yes. Yeah. From here, it's about two minutes. Yeah, from here, it's about two minutes. <laughs> we had about 20 minutes, and we are now in civilization. And yeah, we will see you guys when we get there. Peace. It is 11:05, and we have made it. Ish, pretty much there. In 200 meters, turn right. Where's the van? Don't see the van. He couldn't have been that far behind us. No, he was right there, but he was having trouble Turn getting right. over into the next lane. We will see if they made it when we get there. Because they've literally just been right behind us. But this is our wonderful little section of town. Very little, but it has what it needs. Shoe up his drug mart. Tim Hortons, that's very Tim important. Tim Hortons, yes, there's Tim Hortons. That building. Right there. Shoppers, Pita Pit, there's a meat store, I guess I think it is. Or a deli. A, deli. a bank. There's a TD bank right across the hall. There's also a hotel. There's. That's where one of the bus stops I get off at. store sale which is like a hiking camping store and the school da -na 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 -na.